Hi Yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel and welcome to week three of our National Yoga Month Yoga Chats. This week we are talking about some tips to keep in mind when you are starting your yoga practice or you can even consider them tips to remind yourself of if you've been practicing for a while and need a little bit of a uh, refresher in you know some good yoga tips I guess. Um, first one Probably the most important one really is to start with why, your why. Why are you practicing yoga? What's your intention? What are you trying to get out of it? Do you have a, a goal in mind? Because whatever that is, it's going to help guide you towards the type of style and practice that you want. It's going to keep you engaged in your practice and it will keep you practicing longer. If you're just like, oh, I kind of wanted to try it, whatever, like you. You might try a class and not like it and say, well, this is dumb, I give up. But if you have a really clear intention, something you really want to get out of it, maybe the first class didn't work out so well, so you try again and you find a class you really love and you start going down a journey and, and your why can evolve, you know, as you're going down the yoga journey. But you do want to remind yourself of what your intention is with your yoga practice in order to maintain a lifelong yoga practice. So that's a big, huge tip. Um, kind of tied into what I was saying is experimenting with different styles, uh, different classes, even different teachers to find your groove, find what you like. Uh, that is part of how you develop a lifelong practice of yoga. If you are starting with some classes you don't really like, don't give up there. Experiment and try and find what does work for you, what you do enjoy. So that's another big huge tip. We have a lot of people, or I've known a lot of people who kind of give up <laughs> after one class. That class was terrible, all yoga is terrible, I'm not doing it. Well, mm, that's, you know, that's not true, that's a disservice to you. You do want to experiment and, and see if you can find one that you like before you just dismiss it altogether. Another big one, eyes on your own mat. This is huge, I can't even say how huge this is. Yoga is not a competition, it is not a comparison, it is not about what other people are doing on their mat. If you're at home practicing or you're at a yoga studio or a yoga event, I don't care where you are, eyes on your mat. I mean, look at the instructor, obviously, so you can see what's happening, but don't compare yourself to anyone else in that yoga class. Don't be in competition with anything that you've seen on Instagram or any yoga magazines. Don't say, I can't do that or this is where I have to be, any of that. None of that matters. Focus on you, focus on your practice, focus on your mat, and just the rest of it shouldn't be influencing your practice. It's not about that. So huge, huge, huge tip. Eyes on your mat, focus on you and your practice. Your yoga practice is about uniting yourself with your core truth, with your inner strength, you know, with who you are and your body, uniting your mind and body, not whatever that person's doing over there. So let them be in their world doing your practice, you be in your world doing your yoga practice, and it's going to be awesome. So big, huge tip. Definitely abide by that one. Um, listen to the alignment cues. So really be paying attention to what the teacher is saying when they're providing alignment tips. Um, but also, more importantly, listen to your body. If they give you an alignment cue and you move and your body says, no, don't do that, back out of the pose. Back off of it a little bit. Find the modification that works for you. Uh, again, it's your yoga practice. This is your world. The teacher is there to guide you and provide insight and, and direction and kind of guide you through this journey. But you have to really listen to your body's alignment um, in addition to the alignment cues. Kind of unite those two, uniting, um, to, to create your practice. Rest as needed. You don't have, if, you don't have to go through the, again, it's your practice. You don't have to go through the whole thing. If you need to take a child's pose or a down dog or take a rest, absolutely. Take as many rests as you need. Take shorter yoga classes if you need. Whatever it is as you are your practice. Um, make sure you do enjoy your Shavasana. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that is the hardest pose because you're kind of settling in at the end. You're letting your body reset and that's when your mind starts moving. And I have to get to this today. I have to get to that today. I should get up off the mat. Like, whew. Take a breath, take that moment of rest, take that reset, really enjoy your Shavasana, don't rush out of it. Um, focus on your breath, you know, focus on the breathing through your practice, 
if you lost your breath, especially if the teacher is giving you like breathing cues, recenter on that. Maybe take that rest and refocus on your breath. Um, keep at it. You know, if you haven't started yet, just start. Just do it. Don't wait anymore. <laughs> you know, start. You're never going to do it if you don't start. So start. Keep at it. Stay positive. If you're starting to feel down on yourself because you're getting into that comparison mode, which you shouldn't be doing, just stay positive. Keep at it. Have fun. Fun is a huge key part to yoga. You should be enjoying the practice. If you're not enjoying it, maybe take a moment to step back and say, hey, why is this not fun? Why am I not liking this? Is it the style? Is it I'm not listening to my body enough? You know, really try and figure out what maybe the issue is if you're not having fun. Um, those are kind of the, the big tips. If you're starting, even if you are been a long time practitioner, those are all helpful things to remember. Stay tuned next week because I will be revealing my number one tip for practicing yoga. So make sure you are subscribed uh, to the YouTube channel and get notifications for that video for that number one tip. And I do have um, exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. When you sign up, you will get the Nerdy Yogi's Guide to the Galaxy, aka how to start your yoga practice in three easy steps. So make sure you're signed up there. That'll be your three easy starting steps for starting your home yoga practice. Thanks so much. I'll see you next week. Namaste.